All right, you are still watching Ways Now. Today is a day to come together and spread peace, love, and understanding on International Peace and Love Day. This day, um, this special day was created in the late 1960s as a way to promote unity, acceptance, and understanding among different cultures. It has since become an annual tradition in many countries around the world that is celebrated with festivals, concerts, parades, and other activities. So, no matter where you are or who you're with this July 7, take some time to celebrate International Peace and Love Day by showing your appreciation for those around you. I appreciate you guys. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you. <laughs> you know, say, I deliberately had to go and put peace in my name because mm. I was war. I was the fight. <laughs> <laughs> so I think when I started bearing my English name peace, I could say, ah, I think this peace is beginning to rub off on you because before first, you know, I I'm like, <laughs> no, I don't have, I don't have time for nonsense. I need to, but hey, this is a very important day, honestly. Um, I say that there are so many challenges that we have in the world, but if you take out your time to just see every person in the image of God and how mm. he created it, you, it will be easy for you to, I'm not one of them. I, I was telling my team today, say, if you see me on TV, I'm cha 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 When I'm alone, I'm actually a very, very introverted person. I'm quiet. I can be in my space and all of that. But um, that does not mean, it doesn't translate to me having evil in my heart towards the next person. I genuinely am one person that I love my spirit because I genuinely root for people to succeed. And, you know, and that comes from a place of love. You can't, you cannot not love people and not want them to see them, I mean, see them do better and grow. Yeah. So I, I always remember this, I think I was on, it wasn't last year, it was two years ago that I was on the show on this day and I was talking about tolerance and, mm -hmm. I mean, everything that we said that day is literally so, so much more relevant today in the, in the cultural context of Nigeria, but for me today is also a significant day because today is July 7th, mm. so... 18 years ago today, the London bombings ha bombing mm -hmm. happened, and I missed the train. Wow. I was literally rushing to work that day. Everything that could go wrong that morning went wrong. The trains weren't working properly. There was a lot of traffic, and I literally got in to The work. train station? I got into the, the, the train left. Mm. I got into the bus. I got to work, and yeah. The news. So, I find that you know, it for me it's just a day to be thankful. So I'm glad that it's associated with peace and love. But then it also holds um, very a, special, a very special place in your because heart. Because if not, how would we have met you? My God, all, all your goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I understand. Wow, that's a very very significant day. Very very significant. But hey, spread love. Mm -hmm. Honestly, all day, every day. I'm an advocate for peace. I'm telling you, there's no See, drama. I'm like wahala, <laughs> my God. See anything that will give people love, is there. anything that will cause problem, you cannot find me there. I will just, stay. I will rather stay back than come and now indulge myself in one back and forth with you. No, 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 no. I can't because it's also. Mm. So I'm a woman of peace. Woman of love. Day is, <laughs> day is for you. It's for me, oh. I know. <laughs> ah, so who do we start with? Chilelo, what's your story? Okay, ah. So I saw this video. Well, the first thing I saw when I picked up my phone was this video. Mm. And hmm, it caught my attention. I think, let's, let's watch the video. Okay. Okay, okay. I said you should buy the hygienic oil to table water. It helps to maintain and reduce the body temperature. And it is also good for the body tissue. It's hygienic, it's quality, it's tasteless, <laughs> and odorless. It has a pH level of 7 because it's liquid, it's not acidic. So, this is what I'm talking about H2O. It is also helped to protect your spinal cord. Very, very hygienic to the body Crazy. tissue. <laughs> <laughs> so, we just have 29, you can get a sachet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, we just need to, in any case, of convenience, you can also do transfer. Just to make yourself comfortable. Yeah. So we just drink some. So 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 okay. Do you know what touched me the most? Or rather, the biggest lesson I learned from this video is: no matter what it is you are selling, see, presentation just matters. Sell it well. Imagine this person comes to you 
and it's telling you it has a, a, an acidic level of a pH level of blah 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 and this is what I'm talking about in case of any cash inconvenience you can do a transfer I mean I will want to buy all of the water in his in his in mm. his trolley that day because it was the way he even carried himself. I asked to what I'm like, wait, is it pure water this guy is selling? Like the same pure water people are shouting, shouting pure water, tutu, right? that this guy is selling with so much class and poison. And... Big lesson. Whatever it is you are doing in this life. But this is this really Identify, yeah, you know, that's and, how and I felt. This is the spirit of every Nigerian. Mm -hmm. And this is why it breaks my heart that our leaders are not able to see what we can become. We don't need too much. Now look at this boy. Imagine empowering him with some, you know, so, and when I say empowerment, because it's been bastardized in this country. When, they, when you say empowerment program, <laughs> so bastardized. Like this really literally just made me, you know, very teary right now. I really hope, you know, water brands, excellent. you know, yeah. This is excellent. Um, I always have to tell people that because we are where we are, it doesn't actually take a lot to stand out. True. So True. Once you are, and it doesn't matter, you know, people always think that, and I've said it so many times on the show, people think it's about um, having opportunities, yes. people think it's about having money, people, and mm -hmm. I'm like, no, look, it rises to the top. Mm -hmm. The top is always the top. Mm -hmm. So when you see people like this, it doesn't matter the situation that you are put in. If you understand that excellence is a way of being, yeah. even if you are even if they say selling like water, that. even yes. if you are, you are a garbage collector, it doesn't matter what you, you do. do you will do it excellently well. Excellently. And that is what we need people to understand. Absolutely. That excellence is a state of being. Mind, yeah. It is a state of mind. It's not about your environment. Mm -hmm. It's not about your circumstances. Your background. In everything you can be excellent. It's one of the few things you are actually in control of. Yeah. Absolutely. 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 Ah. Chills. <laughs> That's how I felt when I said it this morning. I was like, ah, oh, no. Do you know when you sent your story? Yeah, 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 yeah. As soon as I said, I was like, no, I have to this share is, this. This has to, this has to, to be what, what <laughs> you're talking about. Go ahead. Uti. Okay, so my story is actually quite an interesting one. Um, we all, emojis, right? We all use emojis, we all enjoy emojis. I just want to, my story today sounds a note of warning to people that if you're going to use emojis, please be careful. So my headline reads, if it decides to open, um, that farmer. a farmer fine. is fined $61,000. That's okay. dollars for using thumbs up emoji. So this happened in Saskatchewan in Canada where a farmer was fined a hefty sum for using an emoji um, and it was taken as the acceptance of a contract. So essentially he had had a conversation with his um, buyer um, around providing 86 um, tons of flax. Uh, and then the contract was sent to him by the buyer and he acknowledged it with a thumbs up. Ew. Now, he said he was acknowledging the that receipt of okay, the contract. Yeah. Um, but he then never delivered on the contract. Yes. And the buyer sued Ooh. him and said, your thumbs up is a digital signature. signature. Mm. Which the judge said, yes, yes. Very cool. technology today... Even me, the judge acknowledged that. Even me, I'm an old guy, but I get it. So if you thumbs up... It's good that's to go. Okay. It's good to go. So everybody that is using emojis just need that voice and First of all, know the know the mm -hmm. literal mm -hmm. meaning of the emoji and know the common use yeah. meaning of your emoji. Then know that you see this one. If you use it, it means you have okay it because that's yeah, what I sent to, to, to the team when yeah. they, when they said the script. I just done okay. Ah, no, I mean that's the world we live in now. A lot of the times, even for me, right? Some of my team send me mm. stuff. Okay, and I'm like okay. So just know that you can be held, you know, in the court of law. Yeah. <laughs> on that note, let's go on a break. When we come back from that break, we'll have our guest discuss um, animation with us. Stay with us. <laughs> 